All right, guys, so here's uh, Project 73. You guys probably haven't seen it in a little while, but it is winter. Um, I do live up north, well, north. So it's time to switch out these tires for the winter back to the stocks, which is pretty, which is pretty disappointing. So I thought I'd record it, show you guys just how different this truck looks without these wheels and tires on it. So, uh, Guess I'll show the difference. Um, it's just a size comparison. I mean, these are, it's not like they're extremely small, but compared to what I have on it, these are about 10 and a half wide. These are, these tires are 15 and a half wide. I'll show you when they're off. Um, but yeah, see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so now that I have one of the wheels off, it's crazy how big the wheels look off the truck compared to on it. On it, they're big, but when they're off, it's close to ridiculous. Um, as in width, I mean, they're tall, but the width is just... Here's a stock, I believe these are 10 and a half, they're metric or whatever. I believe they're 10 and a half wide, but the, the wheel is like a nine wide, I'd say it's a stock board wheel. This is a 14 wide with a 15 and a half wide tire. Let's take a look. I believe these are close to double the width, in appearance at least. Pretty, uh, pretty insane. Here, I'll put them like, put them like this. Look at that. <laughs> Just about half. Um, so, gotta say goodbye to 20 by 14s for the winter. We'll be throwing these things on in just a minute here. I also would like to show you guys, since I think it's time to mention it, in case you're thinking you're about to get new uh, big wheels and tires for like the first time, you don't really know about this. If that stays there. Um, this is the second time it's happened. It happened to the other side in the summertime. I just didn't really make a video or anything about it. But all of a sudden, my front caliper um, randomly started leaking. So, didn't really even diagnose it. It just got to the point where I just bought a new one. But this one started doing it about probably three months after I did the passenger side front. And it started leaking too. What it is, is it's the, uh, one of the cylinders inside the caliper leaking. Just to prove the point, if you're wondering if the AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, all those cheap calipers, if they do the job, um, these both had about, the other side about 2,500 miles on them. These made it to about 3,000 miles, and they just fail. So, if you think about it, just from the, from the start, get performance or upgraded brake calipers because by now I've spent the amount of money I've spent on the cheap calipers have probably been just about the same amount or probably a little bit more than the upgrade calipers so I just get that out of the way from the start just a heads up all right just so you guys understand uh, the difference here's with one on and look at the back the other front <laughs> pretty sad day but I guess I just have to get over it. <laughs> oh my god. Here, I'm gonna get come up close for you guys. <laughs> I can't, it's too bad it's dark over there, but. <laughs> that. That. Wow. <laughs> well. I guess we'll just keep doing the rest. Try to get over this. Alright guys, I thought this would be another good time to record. Kinda looks like a pull truck or some crazy... Something in, something crazy. Uh, <laughs> just the, I thought the back angle was too good not to show you guys. Just take a look at that difference. Even the height, I mean... I have it slightly jacked in the back. But... You can see it's out of complete. And this, this is a level truck. It's got a level kit on it. 
Look at that. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the two back wheels off. And I'll show you guys the the final result. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so all four are on it. It's definitely not as scary with all four wheels on it. Um it's kind of forgiving. Give you guys a quick look. I might make a little before and after for you guys so you can really understand. It's <laughs> so, uh, a little bit lower. About three, it should be three inches lower since these tires are about three inches smaller. In fact, I think that's how it works. <laughs> uh, it also has a leveling kit on it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, over the winter, might be doing some things under the hood of 7.3 while the wheels are off it. Um, and these wheels will be back on for spring. Unless we go with, you know, 22s or something. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Um, thanks for watching.